The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of our shoe glass. We only need um, one side. I have the right one right here. We're going to be covering it in masking tape. We're going to be covering the entire surface. We don't need to cover the top or the sole, but we'll cover the entire surface. And then later we're going to draw our design of the shoe on the masking tape. And this will become our pattern. You want to add like a number of layers. So probably about three layers so that it doesn't rip, right? So it's strong enough. So about three um, layers of masking tape that you just put over your entire shoe last. Okay, <clears throat> so I have covered the last in masking tape. Only one layer, so I'm gonna do two more layers. Um, but I wanted to point out that you wanna make sure that you pass this edge here, this ridge that is the divide between the sole and the side of the shoe, because we're gonna be um, making our pattern later and that will be the edge of our pattern. So make sure that that all, uh, all around the sole, you pass that, and then later we will cut this off just on that line, and then we'll know exactly what our pattern is. So I'm going to do two more layers of masking tape on this, and then we'll draw our design on it. We now have covered our last in a <coughs> number of layers of masking tape. <coughs> We're now going to draw our pattern on it. I can't really tell you what to do here, um, because it's your shoe and your design. The shoe um, last will, of course, determine the shape of the shoe. Um, but the shoe uh, look itself will also be determined by how you put together different um, pieces of leather uh, to make the design. So you can do different things. Uh, just don't make it too involved if it's your first pair of shoes. Um, you know, gain some confidence with simple lines and then um, make more complex designs as you go. <coughs> okay. So. Um, I have sketched the design on the shoe. As you can see, I have this line here, um, this diagonal part of the toe. And then I have another diagonal line that runs this way. And then apart from that, all I've got is this line right here. It's going to be the zipper, right? So the zipper is going to be on the inside of the shoe. We're going to have like a toe part, and then the middle part, basically where the shoe will bend. And then this will be one piece that will just sort of wrap around the leg. Um, and that's, that's going to be it. So it's going to be... Um, sort of like a simple, sleek shape, not too many uh, lines, but um, I find that this works well for me. And as I said, you can do other things, you can do like a straight or like that, you know, whatever that shape is called, broke, I think. Um, you know, you can do the, the panels on the side, it's, it's uh, a traditional sort of design element to have like a heel enforcement thing there, which we will put in, but on the inside, uh, but we won't put anything on the outside. This will essentially be what our shoe looks like now. We need to grab a knife and then we're going to cut away um, on the on the ridge of uh, of the shoe so where the, where the last sort of makes the, the sharp bent and turns into the sole we're just going to cut away our masking tape exactly on that edge all the way around once that is done we're going to cut on the lines to divide our pattern in its individual pieces and then we're going to carefully peel it off so i use my knife to cut through these lines that i drew on and Perhaps a good time to remind you that it doesn't matter what you draw on the shoe. It's the lines you cut now that will determine the design. So, you know, make sure to do it carefully. So as you can see, I've cut through this line and I can now take off the masking tape in one big part. And that's what we're going to do. Make sure you get all the layers and get all the parts off. 